In this video I'd like to cover some of the Microsoft Excel integration features that Acumatica has. Uh, it exists on a number of different screens but I'm just going to go ahead and show it with the general ledger account screen and what we'll do is uh, just show how easy it is to export from Excel and also import from Excel for new accounts and even update existing accounts again from Excel all without having to come call the IT department all um, just right there in the screen very intuitive very user-friendly so I'll go ahead and log into the demo company and let's go up here to the finance area general ledger configuration and we'll just work on the chart of accounts screen so of course since this is the demo company we already have uh, quite a few accounts that have already been created and just so I can take a look at them all easily I'd like to have it in Excel I go right up here uh, again this kind of a feature is available in uh, lots of different screens but we're just using this chart of accounts one as an example and uh, I can just click this export to Excel it'll think for a little bit and it will go ahead and export the entire list into Excel I think it's pretty common that people like to view and make changes to data in Excel so uh, it's very nice to have this option I'll go ahead and replace the existing file and uh, that just exported the file for me I can open it up and you'll see now I've got a list of all of my general ledger accounts here in Excel and let's say that maybe I want to uh, add a couple of accounts so this makes it nice I've got my accounts listed in in their correct order and I can easily tell All right, I'd like to insert my accounts right here so I'll just go ahead and add two rows um, and I'll just call this two and three and uh, the account class I want it to be called AR again um, I'll make this an asset and then in the description I'll just say AR test one and AR test two okay so I just want to create two new accounts and because that's all I really want to do I'm just going to delete all the other rows so I just have my two rows that I want to import now another nice thing about exporting before you do an import is that it already gave us the column names that the screen uses so when we go to import it the screens already going to know which columns um, map to the columns in the screen now we still could call these whatever we want we could name these uh, with animal names or you know something completely bizarre it doesn't matter we still have the opportunity to map them to the actual screen field names but by doing the export it just saves us a little bit of time so we don't have to bother with any mapping step now in our example I'm just going to get rid of all these other columns because I only care about the number the class the type and the description and if I don't put in any of the other columns it will just take the default for whatever that column is that column value is so I'll go ahead and save this and uh, we'll close Excel so now we're back here in the chart of accounts screen of course my accounts don't exist yet because I need to instead of exporting now I click this icon here to import from Excel ask me where my file is I go find my file I click upload I just click OK on this screen and now here's that mapping step now again since we exported first it already knows what the mapping should be it was able to guess uh, because the columns have the same name so again if we pick something different for our column names no problem we could still just do the mapping here but we saved ourselves a little time click OK you'll see up here it does some thinking and uh, pretty soon it should be finished and now I can go down here and sure enough here's my two new accounts with the descriptions that I gave them now one nice thing uh, you know this it's pretty common to be able to import from Excel into an ERP system but uh, it's very nice to be able to do it right here in the screen I don't have to do any fancy mapping using a separate program I don't have to call the IT department I was able to do it. it's almost easier loading it from Excel than it would be typing into the screen very intuitive very user-friendly now one thing that uh, a lot of ERP systems cannot do they can add new records but not very good at updating existing records well Acumatic can handle that pretty easily if I go back to um, see the Excel file that I exported and let's say you know of course it doesn't really make sense to do this for two accounts but maybe I was going to kind of revamp the descriptions on all my general ledger of accounts of course I would want to do that in Excel 
rather than do it in the screen, it'd be a lot easier. But I could just go in and you know I could pass this file off to someone else by email. They could change all the descriptions, maybe make it more uniform, and then send the file back to me. Now I can take the file and uh, come back to my screen. And not only will it allow me to add new accounts like I just did, but these account descriptions can be updated based on the new information in my Excel file. So I'll go ahead and uh, click uh, upload here. And there's the upload button. Now if I don't check this box, uh, it'll do what I want it to do. If I do check this box, of course, it won't update existing records. I'll click OK. Again, the mapping is all OK. Press the OK button. It's doing its thinking. And there we go. It updated the descriptions on my existing accounts. That's very nice. Not only can I import new records, but I can update existing records uh, from Excel. Again, without calling the IT department right in the screen. Very intuitive, very user-friendly.